food court. People are so accustomed to these fights ending and shooting. What ha probably happened is somebody probably called the police when they saw some black kids fighting. Um, Brown Sugar, I can't bring you up because the, the, the thing is full, so we need... I'm going to bounce doses. Uh-oh. I'll be safe. Okay. All right, take it easy, man. Um, hey, um, Kamala uh, Harris coming back. Hot Fire says, Hot Fire uh, says, um, the biggest problem with sons is they want all the credit when the stereotype makes them look good, but then cry racism when it makes them look bad. They only want praise and no criticism. I avoid sons with that mindset. That's actually very accurate, man. Yeah, that's 100% accurate. Extremely accurate. One woman, Melissa Gosh. Hudson, says she was driving up to the mall wondering why so many people were in a hurry to leave. She tells me it was actually hard to get to the building with so many cars driving out. She parked near the Dillard's and noticed that the door was closed. And that's when someone outside told her what they thought was behind the commotion. Um, what she just told us from there that there was a shooting in the mall. So that's why everything had been shut down. So I immediately kind of went in panic um, because my brother works here in the food court. So I just kind of started in to check on them. Gosh. <sighs> So yeah, this is this is um, this is fighting in the mall, shootings in the streets. Um, this is the what's what's that? Well, glider that just came up. I was talking about country, country gliders or whatever. Mm. Like yeah. there is no like that. That right there is a perfect example of the glider community. There is no glider community. Yeah, that's true. There is zero glider community. It don't matter what county you're in. Uh, you have to have men and women. The women are all for this DEI, um, help the sun people, help the refugees. There is there is no ability for us to counteract this as it currently stands. Yeah, that's why that's why the gliders are hated because you guys are individuals um, for the most part. Yeah, and this is and you do stuff like this, like this. This is just fucking retarded, right? Twenty twenty four brings the promise of a new year, but the affordable housing crisis continues. Ten in your size, Raven Payne checks in with. You're gonna bring more affordable housing. All affordable housing means is some people. Nonprofit for kids on what they need to meet this rising demand. Yes, well, the CEO of Four Kids tells me with the number of calls they get daily, a lot is needed to help with this housing issue. She says there needs to be more affordable housing projects, more action from elected officials, and more support from the community. Thanks for calling the Regional Housing Crisis Hotline. These phones at Four Kids ring off the hook. CEO Thaler McCormick says they get a record number of calls for housing assistance every day. She tells me just in December, they received over 1,800 calls for assistance just from Norfolk residents. And that was supposed to be a slow month. Many of our folks... And Norfolk is one of the black cities. Folks calling us are working. Many of them are choosing between the bills they pay. And that includes calls about evictions. Just on January 2nd, there were 928 eviction filings for the city of... <laughs> 900 evictions in one city in one day. I mean, one month, right? Did they say a month or they said day? Hold on. Let me see. Okay. And that includes Hold calls. Of, and that was supposed to be a slow month. Many of our folks calling us are working. Many of them are choosing between the bills they pay. And that includes calls about evictions. Just on January 2nd, there were 928 yeah, evictions. Yeah, one day, 928 evictions in one day in a black city. And they're begging for more affordable housing, which they're going to turn into, I mean, a ghetto. Like, they, they're absolutely going to turn that affordable housing into a violent ghetto where there's balloon releases every other week and little kids can't play outside safely. And you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah you, you have to have like an organized glider community to literally stop this, right? So you're not going to use our tax dollars for this. You're not going to force this upon us. But gliders refuse to collectivize under the guise of their race. They will collectivize under Christianity or 
uh, some political party, they will not collectivize under any racial impetus. You might say and they can't, they will never that. stop this. They will never stop this. Would you do that? I think they might collectivize when they finally become a very extreme minority in this country. Then they, then they'll probably. Oh yeah, that, that the few that will be left, yes, they will have to in order to be able to survive. But at that point, you're 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 arguing to survive. You're not even arguing to like have your way of life continue. You just want to be able to get scraps. Fisherman, would you join in with would you join in with all gliders, or would you be selective in the ones you would join with? Uh, I would. I mean. I don't understand the question. You said they don't. You said gliders that they don't collect. They don't collectivize um, until you know until like the two small of a group. Essentially, I'm saying which one? Would you, I'm saying, or would you collect? If there was a if there was a pro glider group, yes, I would join that group. You wouldn't be selective as to what as to as to what types. I don't, like give me some examples. All I glide. I mean, do all gliders operate the same way? I mean, are, 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 are well, I'm just saying you got to give me some examples of like, what do you mean? Like, I, are you saying like, what, what are the, what exactly are you saying that the gliders would advocate for that I wouldn't want to be a part of? Yeah. yeah. Would you join with you leftist gliders? Absolutely not. No, because not they're anti, that. they're not pro glider. That wouldn't yeah. make sense. So are you pro glider? Yes. Oh. You have to be. Are you pro sun? No. I'm of for my people. You. I just want. Us oh, to see exactly though. Right. See, like you, you, you insinuate that when you ask me that that there's a negative connotation. But where does yeah. that come from? But there ain't no. No, I'm, I'm, I'm saying, ain't. dude got on here talking about some brown sugar. Prove my point. First of all, dude, you don't even know me. Okay. I've been on a panel for over. <laughs> this is what this I is why she wanted back on, not for the conversation we're having. <laughs> Brown sugars, man. For you to to say I made I proved it, man. Point. Okay. Mm. You're proving it again. Shut the <laughs> hell up, bitch. Well, well, Damn. Brown sugar. Let me let me let me let me hold, let me read the super chat. Um, I a suit I a man says glider women. And sons have the same morality levels. They take out children at the doctor the same rate sons shoot. Um, I don't know. Yeah, that may be true to the degree. Um, Rebel Thunder says, housing for migrants. Don't forget the millions y'all got that need homes. Happy New Year, Op Nation. S-E. Okay, salute to you, man. Um how about this brown sugar quickly man um 928 evictions in one black city in one day um what are your thoughts on that and that's terrible i don't know what their individual reason is for getting put out okay no let me ask you this do you think gliders tax dollars should pay for more affordable housing so that these people won't, so that they can afford houses and not get kicked out? Or do you think that it will even make a difference? I mean, yeah, they need some housing, but if you don't provide a housing, then what? They, they're going to be on the streets. They're going to commit even more crimes because, you know. So you're saying that so you're, so you're yeah, honestly, them I don't even think they even making these houses for black people anymore. I believe it's for the immigrants that's coming through here. Yeah, well, that's a so, crime. But this is, the, it's not, let's be real, like D.C., um, Chicago, um, New York, like every fucking where is not having, you're saying these 900 people that got evicted on January 2nd are migrants? No, I'm saying the future houses is getting built for the well, but what about these ones these ones the ones now do you think right. that it would be a, do you think that it's a good idea for gliders because you were talking about gliders earlier and i'm just saying do you think it's a i good wasn't idea? talking about them like no 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 i'm not saying i'm not i'm only saying it's like it's gonna in in a, in any city the tax base is white people black people get ten thousand dollars back on their income tax checks white people owe so it's like 
the tax base in every city is is white people. This this in this 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 um low income housing is going to be funded by tax dollars. The only people who show up to city council meetings are white people. The only people who show up to neighborhood advisory meetings are white people. The only people that really um know the issues on the on the docket for any election are gliders. Do you think that they should support more affordable housing in a city that already has a bunch of affordable housing because they're having like thousand fucking evictions a day? I would. But I know that they're going to do it anyway. Okay. And that includes calls about evictions. Just on January 2nd, there were 928 eviction filings with the city of Norfolk. Norfolk has had its fair share of affordable housing projects in 2023 to help with some of these issues. The city held a groundbreaking for Unity place at Kindred back in September, and Newport Gardens, a 50-unit affordable housing complex, will be coming soon to the Park Place community. But will that put a dent in the amount of people who desperately need housing help in the city? You might feel like any particular project is a drop in the bucket, but we have a big bucket of housing needs that needs to be filled. So we need as many drops as we can get. So every project matters. She also says one of the biggest obstacles for affordable housing is the stigma attached to it. Pause before you oppose because we've got projects, good projects like these ones being considered in Norfolk and they face community opposition. Pause before you hey. oppose. Um, um, yo, yo, ah, ah, that, that housing project in Park Place that they're talking about right now, it's right mm -hmm. next to Old Dominion University, man. It's right next to Old Dominion University. So you always mm -hmm. talk about sons preying on sons going to hunt. Them sons are going right. to hunt on them college kids like it, like their mind's gone bad, man. That house <laughs> man remember what right I just said to... earlier about the glider community. Look at this example. Yeah, I'm, I'm look, brother, look who's I'm talking saying, about doing this. All I'm saying is woman. you could be pro-white or you could be pro-glider. And the problem is they've been stigmatized that if you're pro glider, that you're anti sun. Like I, I'm, I'm 100% pro glider. I just, I don't hate sons. You know what I'm saying? I got no hate in my heart for any, 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 any of the races of, of people, man. The problem is, is that, is that the gliders have been stigmatized that yeah, if you're yeah, pro glider, don't, 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 then you're don't, anti everybody um, else. Don't don't tell us you're not racist, man. But that's not necessary, man. You don't have to go on. Oh, tell us I, I mean, no. I'm hey, listen, man. I'm not saying I'm. I'm. Everybody's got stereotypes, of course. If you don't keep your head yeah. on a swivel, and and recognize stereotypes, you're gonna end up like that dude in front of a train. So yeah. I understand stereotypes. I keep yeah. my head okay. on a swivel. A drop. I got you, man. Thank you. Man. It, at least we have a big bucket of housing I needs that needs to be filled. Like a smidge of black people. I'm a mammy. I'm this. I'm that. So at least you able to sit on the panel and say you pro white and you love your people. Because if I show any any likeness towards my people. Everybody will hop in, call in, say I'm that's not I'm, true I'm, though. This nigga white, this nigga right, and I, I'm this. Brown, brown sugar, brown sugar. I'm all for you being pro black as long as you ain't got no I'm hate not towards the black. Pro black. I'm pro American. Oh, I mean, one hundred percent, one hundred percent. But I got it. I ain't, I ain't even got problems with you being pro black as long as you're not anti glider. You know what I'm saying? I got no problem nah, with him. I got no problem with Umbritos he, being pro Umbrito as long as they're not anti glider and anti. -sun. I can't be mm -hmm. anti glider. Do you know I'm fisherman vice president? <laughs> 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 no, second no, no, I didn't. I, I didn't. I didn't pick that. They picked no, that. Exactly. Listen, I, I, I hey, take the, show. It's a joke, man. I respect this show, <sighs> and I watch the show when Fish I'm out at work like at you. night. Because it's people ex expressing what really needs to be talked about. You know what I'm saying? I understand Word. stereotypes, man. I, I, I respect this show a lot because we're discussing issues. You guys always discuss issues that need to be discussed. You know what I'm saying? I respect the hell out of the show. I, you do a good job. But also, all yeah, the but clips I, we have. I'm with Brown Sugar. I'm pro-American, too. 
Oh, I'm 100%, man, 100%. And she she's absolutely right because in Norfolk, there's neighborhoods in Norfolk that used to be all sun that are now all illegal umbritos because they pushed the suns out. You know what I'm saying? So I don't – what's going on yeah, at the border? Them out. What the, what's going on at the border? Is a is a, is a juice crew globalist fucking plot, man. All right, Look, man. I got well, let, me, I, let, me, let me move along, man. Let me all right, move along. I feel right. like the particular project is a drop in the bucket, but we have a big bucket of housing need that needs to be filled. So we need as many drops as we can get. So every project matters. She also says one of the biggest obstacles for affordable housing is the stigma attached to it. Pause before you oppose, because. We've got projects, good projects like these ones being considered in Norfolk, and they face community opposition. And so our elected leaders need to hear from the people that understand and know we need housing and realize that housing is such a critical part of our community. Now I've reached out to Norfolk Development and Housing Authority. Look at, look yeah. at these great non-evil gliders. Let me tell you something, Chet. Let me tell you something, Chet. I know they be trolling. I'm not stupid. I know what they be doing. And yeah, I might feed into it because it's entertaining. Why not? Salute. Great show. Same black time. Same black channel. I'm out of here. Good night. Peace, Peace out. Salute.